Hello everybody, this is Proud Fertility. I'm Nathan. Um, Nathan, I am the Managing Director of Proud Fertility, a surrogacy and egg donation agency in Canada. So today we are here checking in with a proud surrogate with two of my babies that I've just kind of taken on. Okay, so number one, um, proud surrogate without your name or any identification, I would just want to know, how are you feeling today? So good. Um, this pregnancy has went really smoothly. Um, she's growing. I just came back from the doctor's. Oh, I gave away the gender. <laughs> um, the baby's nice and healthy and progressing really well. So yeah, we're feeling pretty good. Okay. I think we should do a little pan out and see how you are. Let's see. Give your belly, bell, belly bump. Whoa, how are you? Do you think it's big or did they say anything? Um, they said two weeks ago that she was possibly four pounds around there. Okay, cool. So I guess we always want to look for a topic that um, resonates with your journey. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about um, who you are. And um, can you tell us you know, what, what did you, why did you do this and um, how old are you? So this is a geriatric pregnancy. <laughs> I'm 44. Um, You're 44, I, okay. Yes. Do you have any children of your own? I do, I have a 10 year old. Um, but this has been something that I've always wanted to do. Um, why are you, I did not call this geriatric pregnancy. This was all on you. <laughs> Okay, and you started at 44 or are you... I started at around 43. Okay. I started looking into it and yeah, connected with a parent that I resonated with and felt like our journeys kind of matched each other and yeah. Okay, so what's it like being um, a, a surrogate who is, you know, a little bit older? Uh, um, <laughs> is, is that, do you get a... Just, you keep talking. Um, <laughs> well, luckily I didn't start showing until a bit later. So I kept it under wraps. Nobody really knew unless I told them that I was pregnant. Um, but yeah, I've been healthy. I've been getting out and being active and all of the things I did for my first pregnancy 10 years ago. Is there anything special about being a 43, 44 year old surrogate versus say another typical surrogate that's not of that age demographic? I, I don't know. For me, it's that I'm, I know that I'm finished making my family and I'm just really excited to watch the intended parent that I'm working with become a parent. Like I'm really excited for that part of the journey. I, um, I love being a mom and I love being a parent and I love, you know, your journey was really... I like kids too. Yeah. <laughs> you think? <laughs> okay. So that's a really good segue. Um, are you attached to this pregnancy? Like, you know, that's the main question. Like, do you have a lot of attachment to this baby? Not in the same way as when I was pregnant with my own. It's much different. I, I like the baby. And it's really been such a great experience to share with my child, like watching her grow and kick and kick him. Um, but I, I'm excited to watch her like as she develops through her lifespan. Um, and that's something that me and the intended parent kind of agreed upon firsthand is that we would be in each other's lives and I'd get to watch her grow up. Okay, cool. But yeah, but I think because I'm, I am older and I'm finished with my family, I have no, no desire to parent again. You don't want any one of these babies? I like visiting. <laughs> okay, cool. So we talked about attachment, we talked about what's it like. I guess the last question I would love to, to have you share is do you have any advice to anyone who is um, potentially thinking about being a surrogate in any age demographic and also in your age demographic who may want to become a surrogate. Do it. <laughs> Can you tell us why they should do it? Oops. It has just been 
such a great journey, like bonding with the intended parent and watching them go through um, like the excitement and the nervousness. And then now that we're getting closer, like they're getting more excited and more bonded with the baby. And it, it's, it's really, it's really special. Okay. It's really special. To do it at any age. Maybe not 70. <laughs> I don't okay, I don't think anybody will want to work with a 70-year-old surrogate. But um, I, I guess the, uh, the main thing is we want to drive home the point that we are very inclusive. So we do have surrogates like you who are 40-plus. Um, and we have surrogates who are 21 only. And uh, if you do have that passion, that calling, don't let age... <coughs> ooh, you don't let age hold you back, right? So... Is that mm -hmm. something that you would say? Definitely, yeah. Yeah. And this has been a pretty smooth journey. Okay. Well, let's pan out one more time and see that belly. How yeah. far along again? We already said that, right? Yeah. 34 weeks. 34 weeks. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for... I feel like you should put down my baby and then let's see your no baby. No way. I feel like you're getting attached to my baby. I am. <laughs> okay, well, that is it for today, our little check-in. Um, anything else? That's all? That's it. Okay, well, talk to you soon, and please share updates. So talk to you later. Bye, guy, everybody. Bye. Um, if you have thought about being a surrogate, um, whatever age you are, um, definitely give us a call or just kind of check into it. Uh, we have surrogates older than 43, 44. And we have certainly sur surrogates who are younger than 43 and 44, too. So I'll do it again. Okay. Well, call <laughs> us because she's thinking about being a surrogate already. Finish this one first. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>